Hey everybody, and welcome to this episode of the van conversion build. You've seen the last however many episodes where Josh and I have been converting this van into our ultimate hunting rig. And today I'm gonna extend that build and I'm gonna do the foam for the cargo glide. Now, this is from a company called Fastcap. Uh, it's called Kaizen Foam. I actually had a tip about this from somebody I met at one of the Total Archer challenges this year. So it is just a layered, eighth inch layered foam. Um, and then I'm gonna put all of these two by four sheets together to make a four by six sheet. And, and then I'm gonna lay out all the gear on top of that and trace around it. And so all four guns, two bows, everything that we wanna put on that slide can sink directly down into the foam and be held uh, safe when we're going down the road. So that is the plan today. I will try to do a couple different time lapses and kind of show you what I'm doing along the way. But uh, yeah, should be fun and uh, should make storing all of the gear on top of that cargo glide a lot easier with the foam with everything having a specific place where it needs to go. So that's the next step. Here we go. I've got the foam all dialed in. Now I'm going to start placing bows and guns onto the foam and try to get a layout that I, that I like. So here we go. I've got the time lapse going on the handy dandy GoPro. So we'll see what we come up with. So after kind of looking at everything, we're not going to be able to get all four guns and two bows on the foam. But what I think we'll do, um, and I already called Josh just to confirm if he thought the idea would work. So we're going to do, we're going to make this more of a universal fit. So when I cut the foam on this, I'll actually, when I do the tracing, I'll kind of do a more universal mount. And so both his bow and my bow will fit in just like this. His will obviously just be the mirror image on a right-handed bow. And then we can run a spot for one of our quivers here. And then the other bow can go on a seat back, like pocket holder. And so we can have one bow kind of in the cab of the van at all times, uh, which will be nice for both solo hunting and when we're hunting together. But uh, typically, you know, one of us will be filming, one of us will be hunting. Um, so this should work pretty good. We can carry all the gear uh, pretty much all the time. So I'm gonna do a little bit more messing around on figuring out exactly how I want it to sit, where I want it to sit, maybe leave a little extra room for, you know, different pockets and stuff for ammo or whatever it might be. It looks like I've got, you know, some space in the corners here that I'll be able to use for different stuff. So this should work pretty good. I'm just gonna kind of mess around with this for a while. And then I will, I've just got a silver Sharpie that I'll trace everything with and do basically chalk lines on it and then I'll just take that X-Acto knife and start cutting stuff out. All right, so I've kind of got them laid out how I'm gonna want, and then right now I only have three of the four guns, so the extra one, I will just do a, it's just a carbon copy, it's the same exact gun, so it's the Savage Renegade, so I will just, once I get this one traced where I want it, um, I will just move it over one after I get it traced, trace it again, and when I get out to, Colorado with the band, uh, everything will fit in there just pretty much perfect. So, um, but yeah, like I said before, just gonna do one big bow cutout that'll fit both bows. And then the other bow will always be in the back pocket holder. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna start with the bow because that fits all on one uh, chunk of the foam. And if I really screw something up, well then I can uh, replace that chunk of foam with the extra one that I had before moving forward. So I'm gonna get to work on that now. Got the bow cut out all done. Uh, turned out pretty good. I gotta do a little bit of trimming to kind of just even out that foam a little bit, but honestly, went pretty good. And that should be a big enough cam for putting a right hand bow in there too. So you can put the bow in there, you can have your stabilizer sit in there, um, and then probably be able to pack in a couple extra, you know, release and everything down uh, right in this slot here. And uh, it'll work for both bows. So I'm gonna make sure all this is leveled out and exactly where I want it, and then I'll start tracing around those. So I've got all four guns traced on there and uh, a quiver, a spot for a quiver. And then I'm gonna leave this open for um, the bipod, some ammunition, and kind of be able to stack some stuff in along this side on that uh, cargo glide. I may even do a spot for a tripod down here if I've got room, but we will see. Most of the time I have the tripod kind of at the ready, so not as big of a deal, but uh, Every once in a while, kind of nice to be able to tuck that stuff away. But yeah, got this trace, so um, it takes a while to get it cut out, but uh, I'll get to work on these and, and start to figure out uh, exactly what else we need to cut out, but should be good. This is gonna be super awesome for 
all of the guns and gear in the back on that cargo quad. I've got all four gun cutouts down, the quiver cutout and the bow cutout. Before I do anything along this side with all this space, I'm gonna whip the van around and uh, take all this off, throw the foam in, and then reset everything just to see how it all fits when it's in the van. And then I'll probably add a few more components down this side, uh, at least until the point where I can't reach all the way in there and grab what I need. So. Jumping off the ledge, but not before I catch two to the chest. Now there's blood and water filling up my lungs. Blood and water filling up my lungs. My heart is beating like a fading drum. Lord, forgive me, here I come. It take me All right, so now that we're out of my place in Colorado, I uh, was the keeper of the key on the final shotgun that goes into the, the foam cutout that Sam worked so hard to get put together. It's the coolest weapon slide out I have ever been around. <laughs> With that, it's time to go chase antelope.